Spoon here for Ed Life Academy, where we teach teens plus how to win at the game of life. Let's do our SBSs, please. I'm smart, I have a positive self-image, and I am somebody. This week's Life Skill Lessons deals with bullying. This is part two of a two-part lesson series. I decided to do two lessons on the topic because it's so serious. And if it's left undealt with, it could lead to death. In our first lesson, we close our eyes and we picture the story, but we never ended that story. I want to end that story today. Okay, so let's close our eyes. All right, picture yourself entering a new school. You get your all dressed up, you got nice clothes on, your kicks are clean, your hairstyle is sharp, you're feeling good, looking good. It's just one thing. You're the only one in school with the color of your skin. Things start bad. People start looking at you, pointing at you, laughing at you, making comments. This gets, goes on all day. Finally, at the end of the day, as you are walking home, a bunch of kids start following you. And then the whole school is behind those group of kids. What happens next? Someone stands up and says, stop. That's not cool. Leave that person alone. Would you like it if someone did that to you? Others join in and they walk to, the, to, to your side. Soon all, the whole school is standing by you and the bullies are standing by themselves. That's the way it should be. There should never be tolerance for bullying at any time. Now, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it happened to me when I was a teaspoon. I remember back in elementary school, I stood up to the school bully, the school bully, right, the biggest, meanest kid in the school. And he said, I'll see you at the school. Well, guess what happened? We met at the school and he was more scared than I was. I won't tell you what happened after that, but I will tell you this. He never bullied a kid in school again. Now, you may not want to stand up to a bully. So what should you do in that situation? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've included links to videos and articles that can tell you exactly how to deal with bullying and also cyberbullying, because that's important too. So scroll down, look at the videos, read the articles. I would suggest you read every word and uh, learn all the information that there is to give because it's such an important topic and you really need to know how to deal with such a situation. All right? Well, that's it. Please take care of yourself and hey, Keep it learning, yeah.